Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about professional certification bundle of AWS which includes two certifications Solutions Architect and DevOps Engineer. To start with, this is the third level of AWS certification bundle, whereas the foundational is the first level, associate is the second level, and professional is the fourth level. I will add links to my video about cloud practitioner certification, and then I will add link about my video about associate certification bundles. As the name suggests, this is a professional certification, so it obviously requires you to know or have more experience than someone who is preparing for foundational AWS certification or associate AWS certification. As I mentioned in my previous video, there is no specific certification path that AWS follows or offers you on the contrary to CompTIA, let's say, or any other certification bodies. So it is your goal to understand which certification you need to pass next and you need to invest in the next based on your career goals, based on what your employer requires from you, or based on your personal preference. Let's first mention what's the same about these certifications. Well, both cost $300, which is two twice the cost of associate certification bundle it was $150 and both last 180 minutes which is three hours wow and both have 75 questions to answer similar to other certifications it it is offered via Pearson and I think Pearson is very popular nowadays for delivering certifications in different modes from different certification bodies what makes these certifications different from the other ones to start with AWS advises you to have at least two years of experience in the cloud preferably in the AWS cloud but any other cloud experience is welcomed. This means that you should not only have IT knowledge, IT experience, but you should also have cloud experience, which means that this certification expects you, before you even started, to already know how to use AWS, how to manage AWS, and what AWS is. I wouldn't recommend this certification to someone who just started in the IT industry or who, for whom who considers his or her first certification. That would be wrong because I think you would, better, you would be better off if you would go for practitioner or associate certification first. Because if you fail this one, the cost is $300 and you have a bit more to lose. But otherwise, if not the cost, if you're not concerned about this at all, go for it and try your knowledge, try your skills and abilities. AWS Certified Cloud Solutions Architect is on the professional level has the same name as on the associate level. So there is Solutions Architect certification for the associate level and difference between them, apart from the fact that they have different exam codes obviously, um, is that Solutions Architect on the professional level is harder, the exam itself has more questions, more performance based, sorry, not performance based, more questions related to practical application of different cloud services. For example, more scenario based questions, but don't mix it with performance based questions of CompTIA, no, these are not performance based questions, but overall the Struct the structure of the questions is more scenario oriented where you are already solutions architect or you are on a, a bit lower position let's say you're working as a cloud associate let's say anything a bit lower than solutions architect and you already know what what scenario would be more appropriate to choose but still you want to improve your career opportunities and go for a better, better position, of course. So as a professional solutions architect, you are able to toggle with scenarios 
and to real with real life applications of different cloud problems, cloud infrastructure problems. You will also be dealing with cloud formation where, where it is the provision, automated provisioning of the clouds. In addition to that, this certification requires from you knowledge and ability to implement DevOps solutions. I know what you might say, you might say that but this is not a DevOps certification. But among the certification requirements, I can see that it requires you to have, a, to have an understanding of the hybrid solutions, meaning that, for example, your company has on-premises infrastructure and cloud infrastructure, and your company decides what data or what operations go to on-premises and what data and operations go to cloud infrastructure. What you need to be able to do as a professional level solutions architect is to build an infrastructure that meets those demands of the company you're working for so that you can both support and manage the on-premises and cloud infrastructure. Second thing is that you should be able, sorry for this notification noises, I don't know if you hear them or not, this was my phone. Um, second thing is that you should be able to manage the continuous integration, continuous development process, meaning that the knowledge of the AWS services and AWS infrastructure should be enough for you to select the correct cloud services, integrate or deploy these cloud services in the way that they will work for companies CI, continuous integration, continuous development, CI CD model. I already provided this example in my previous video and I'd like to provide it again. Solutions Archi Arch Architect is not a system administrator or a cloud system administrator. It is someone who builds and chooses the correct infrastructure, cloud infrastructure or hybrid infrastructure for the company based on company's demands. Very simple example that is not related to IT, but still, a mom with five kids needs to meet one demand. She needs to be able to work full time. What she does, one kid goes to primary school, second kid goes to secondary school, third kid goes to nursery, fourth kid goes to childminder, and etc. etc. So she builds her daily routine in the way that her kids have something to do and she can work full time. She has some free time to be herself and to work. The same is with solutions architect. The company or company stakeholders provide you with the we provide you with the goals that you would they would like you to meet as a solutions architect in terms of the cloud obviously and you should put together a development deployment plan or IT infrastructure plan to be able to put these needs of the company together and put them into operation. It should be, the company's needs might, might be different. The company might make the accentuation on say security, it means that your IT infrastructure should favor security over anything else. It can make accentuation on cost effectiveness, it can make accentuation on, net, on network latency, or availability zone or anything else. The more companies you come across, the more you can see that there are many, many different accentuations that these companies make based on their previous experience or based on their stakeholders and management. This certification is obviously better to pass if you have already foundational certificate, AWS certification and cloud experience. If you have these two things, I wouldn't recommend you to go for Solutions Architect Associate. I would recommend you to go for Solutions Architect professional level right away because I think someone who already has cloud experience and someone who already has the experience in the cloud is already ready to pass the professional level certification instead of paying for associate level certification and then going for professional in the future. In the end, obviously this is your decision, but that's how I see it in a better way and in a shorter way to, to get the professional level certification. Certified DevOps engineer. It sounds very posh. If not to you, to me it certainly does. DevOps became a posh word 
coined a few years ago realistically and this is someone who has the developer experience or developer knowledge or skills but still works in operations it is a higher level of system administration and devops engineers are bridges between developers and system administrators what basically they do is that they provide the correct infrastructure for development and software integration to work for example very simple example software developers develop new features of the app or of the apps every day and they should be able to put these features into quality testing qa qc and this should be automatic i mean for example new feature came in today it shouldn't take weeks for this feature to be tested to be approved to be able to to come into production later let's say facebook has a new button has a new feature and this feature should obviously be tested before it it reaches us final consumers and that's why it should be tested immediately so that it can reach pro final consumers faster otherwise it can take months if not years to test everything first developers finish one feature then it's going to be tested and etc it's a lot of time and company is obviously losing money by but by not deploying new features and by not offering new patches with this in this regard devops certified devops engineer in aws is basically the devops engineer he is still a bridge between developers and system administration and other functions of the company but on the cloud so they manage the process of software integration the process of continuous integration continuous development on the cloud using cloud services if before he would manage different softwares that would do it for them on premises devops engineer on aws uses specific aws services to manage this infrastructure he can implement different methodologies and devops engineer on aws knows exactly what service is better to be deployed by the company to meet certain ci cd goal to meet certain software integration goal and this is obviously very interesting certification to pass along with that i cannot not mention the fact that devops engineer also manages the logging process various failures various gaps in automation and etc so that you can further troubleshoot it and this is also the fundamental difference of professional certifications from associate bundle in professional certifications you should be able to troubleshoot you should be able to think logically what could be wrong here so not only the knowledge of the cloud yes i learned it i know by heart this service should work for this this should work for this no but also troubleshoot what's wrong in this situation what is missing what is not working which part should be replaced which part is not working and on the part i don't mean tangible parts i mean different cloud services and cloud operations so devops engineer a part that that is related to system administration a part of his or her role is related to of course monitoring and troubleshooting of those services i love this certification and this is certainly one of the certifications that i'm planning to pass in the future for both of these certifications you have exam guides and sample questions on the websites along with that you have lots of free resources well maybe lots of is, is an exaggeration sorry but you certainly have free webinars free di digital trainings that you can use for preparation whether you go for something paid or not this is your decision but if i were you i would use all free resources available and then of course think and research which paid resources you should go for and if you should go for paid resources but whatever is free should be deployed and should be used by yourself in order to get a better understanding of the certification because these are resources providing by aws itself basically by the body that puts these certifications together 
This is all for two professional bundle certifications of AWS. Thank you very much for being with me. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel because remember, the more subscribers I have, the more views I have, the more motivated I am to pass further certifications and then to pass this knowledge, this experience that I gain to you. Thank you very much for being with me today and I'll see you in the next video where we will be talking about speciality certification bundle of AWS. Have a nice day and bye!